important questions in that first is the difference between the civil wrong and criminal wrong second difference between civil law and criminal law and civil liability and criminal liability for this three differences same points we have to write we have seen this difference in our second video of ipc concept is jus necessitatis means explain jus necessitatis that is an act which is intentionally done might not be wrong might not be wrong if it is done under compulsion or dire necessity means the act which is done under the compulsion or under the dire necessity but that act is in wrong nature then also that act will be not considered as a wrong act it would be lawful in an emergency to imperial one or two lives in order to save dozens of lives means as we have heard that necessity knows no law means those acts which are done under compulsion or under dire necessity and if that acts are in wrong nature but they are done in the welfare of the people or to save the people then such acts will be not considered as a wrong act that is the jus necessitatis an act which is intentionally done might not be wrong if it is done under the compulsion or dire necessity so here we have completed the third lesson in that we have seen introduction then section 1 section 2 section 1 is about the extension of the ipc section 2 is about the jurisdiction of the ipc in that to whom it applies and in that the important concept is intra territorial jurisdiction uh, sorry intra territorial operation of the code then in section 2 territorial jurisdiction of the state then we have seen the persons not liable under the code means those are exempt from the criminal prosecution in that first is the president and the governor of the state then foreign sovereign ambassador alien enemies foreign army and warship after that we have seen the section 3 and section 4 it is about the extra territorial operation of the code then the meaning of extradition here we have completed the third lesson